Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal and this is my little geeky tech corner of the internet. So I'm having a lot of fun at the moment setting up Home Assistant on my local network. I'm currently working on a home alarm system using the Alarmo add-on and a few sensors and alarms I purchased off the internet. Something that I thought was very important was that the alerts would get sent to something specific on my phone that I knew that if it was going off it was something really 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 important kind of like the pager systems of yesteryear so i went searching on google and came across this app called emergency alerts which was intended to do exactly that so my only question was well how can i get the home assistant alerts to go into this app and trigger these emergency notifications so here's how i set it up before we do anything we're going to need to configure the battery conditions appropriately so that this thing will always keep running so what we want to do is uh it tells you you can uh, be taken to the part of the options but basically what you want to do is hold down on the icon click on app info and you'll get there to an option which will be called batteries or something like that and you want to select unrestricted or unoptimized or anything like that basically that your android will apply no throttling to the battery use and therefore this will always be running now uh, you also want to just check any file permissions at the bottom there but let's go ahead now and create our rule so from the home page of the emergency alert app click on the plus icon and you'll be taken to the rule editor this is where we create the notification rule so i gave mine a pretty standard title ha emergency notifications and uh, that you can choose whatever you want i strongly recommend enabling play audio there is um, a number of really grating sirens uh, built into this but you also have the option to use your own mp3 file if you want to record something a bit more subtle or even use something like a text-to-speech recording uh, you can do it there i also recommend turning on the vibrate uh, setting and that'll just make this even more conspicuous now this is the important bit in filters we're going to create a filter after saving the uh, after saving the rule and this is uh, only going to trigger it if the notification has this in it you can do the body title or body uh, or the body body notification body but i recommend the body because that way you can keep the title for something more important like the alarm is triggered right so i set mine to be ha emergency trigger with two asterisks at either end and that's going to filter so that only if this notification comes through it's going to trigger now the final thing you can do it's optional is to make this even more robust is let's only trigger the emergency alert if it comes from the home assistant app to do that scroll down to the bottom and you can select only the home assistant app on your android device and this way uh, it'll only come if there's that keyword in the notification body and it comes from that app and now we're ready to set this up in home assistant so for this example i'm going to be using alarmo which is what i'm using to set up my home alarm system uh, but you can use it for anything from home assistant that you know gives off an important alert so in alarmo i'm going to set the event as the alarm being triggered i'm going to set the notification agent as my android device I'm going to add some title like, you know, the alarm was triggered at home to the notification. This message is pre-populated. It's fine, although you can edit it if you, if you want to do that. And here's the important part. We need to add now the trigger filter so that this will trigger the emergency alert app on the phone. This is a filter trigger, which we configured previously. You need to add yours. And then uh, we're pretty much good. Click on save at the bottom of the screen in order to save this notification. And then the final thing that we can do is just go straight back into it um, in the Alarmo dialog box. And there's a little button called try it. Uh, here and this will allow us to test it and we want to make sure of course that the alerts are actually coming through and this is what they look like after I hit that try button. I muted the sound in order to avoid startling anyone, but trust me, the notification was really, really loud and conspicuous. I hope this has been helpful. If you're looking to set up an alarm system and want the emergency alerts piped to a specific app, this one gets the job done for Android. Thanks for watching. To get more videos, subscribe to this YouTube channel.